Hello, it's a beautiful day out here. I am TC, uh, and this is being filmed on the latest and greatest from DJI, the Osmo Pocket. The Osmo Pocket is a small handheld 3-axis gimbal made by DJI. So, uh, you can see, this camera is looking really promising for vlogging. You can see how it follows my face around, which is quite, you know, that's super useful. Um, I've come out here to the Rewalker Resurgence. Uh, it's a beautiful swimming hole, uh, one of my favourite places to go. So, this spot right here there used to be a park bench um, so that area there used to look like Okay, this shot is being taken on a GoPro just so I can show you how much easier it is for me to commentate things on this camera compared to the Osmo. Because I can do shots like this, and I can show you that this is a fern, and uh, everywhere. And you see how I can just turn really quick with the GoPro? With the Osmo, if I point to something over here, it goes like this. It's just really slow. Um, but yeah, these ferns are everywhere. Basically, if you get lost in the bush, you take these off and they're shaped like an arrow. You put them on the ground with the way that you're going. But yeah, a uh, little bit of uh, bit of search and rescue knowledge there, but also a bit of uh, camera knowledge. It's a lot easier for me to manipulate the direction of the camera using the GoPro rather than the Osmo. So the Osmo is really good for those cinematic shots. But uh, GoPro is a lot better for just commentary, I've found. Okay, so we're at the, uh, the resurgence here. I'll scroll along this, and you can pause the video and read it if you'd like. But this here is the, the spring. So under the mountain, all the water feeds out this sort of spring, and it goes down here. And it's just that big river. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. I love this place. Um, such a good place for filming. You can see here the camera's dealing really well with the bright background in my face. Um, I found another problem with this camera is that because my cell phone screen is here, but the lens is here, when I'm looking at you guys, I'm looking at my screen. So it's kind of, it's another problem with this camera. Uh, but so far, I'm really enjoying it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to head to Kaiteriteri and get some time-lapse footage um, and I'll do a smoothness test on a gravel road. So this is going to be the time-lapse uh, preview. We're at Kaiteriteri Beach. Check out how nice the day is. <laughs> So the stability test for uh, this camera is going to be easy, it's going to consist of my car going along a gravel road. If I keep the mirror in frame, it should give a point of reference for how bumpy it is. But uh, the footage outside is going to uh, show you how stable the Osmo keeps it. It's doing a pretty good job.
I, I love the fact that it's so useful for cinematic shots. I, I really like the uh, the time lapse feature. I think it's really good. Um, the face track feature, as it's doing right now, that's going to be super useful for vlogging. Uh, one thing that I think you guys should all be excited about, though, is this little thing here. This allows me to attach it to my phone um, and gives this camera some sort of modularity. It's upgraded my iPhone 6, which the only reason I don't like that phone is because of the camera. Uh, it's allowed me to just spend $500 instead of a thousand dollars we're talking new zealand dollars here by the way uh it, 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 i'm able to upgrade the camera to 4k 60 for half the price of buying a new cell phone so i think that's one thing you should be really excited about because can you imagine right now the inspire 2 drone uh it has cameras that you can take off it's got the x4 the x5 and the x7 you can take these cameras off and all the processing is done on board the drone okay can you imagine getting a camera like this osmo pocket that's equivalent to the x5 the x7 and all the processing is done on your cell phone and that's one thing that really excites me because you know in the future of these kind of cameras we're going to be able to plug them into our phones. We're going to have just cameras we can plug into our phones and all the processing done on the phone. It's going to keep cameras cheap and it's going to keep, um, you know, it's going to really improve um, sizes. It's going to make everything smaller. And I think that's where DJI's really hit the mark with this camera. I think this is a really good concept. There's a few things I don't like about this camera. Number one, compared to the GoPro, if I want to show you something that's over there, I can just turn the GoPro really quick. This Osmo, it turns really slowly, so it's hard to, uh, you know, do um, first-person shots with it, uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, also, the number one thing that I think nobody on the internet that I've seen has really touched on is the fact that the lens, you can't take it off, so if you scratch it, you're screwed, alright, so don't scratch the lens. I recommend as soon as the ND filters come out, for this just get a clear polarizing filter or something like that and just keep it on permanently because if you scratch lens on this Osmo pocket you're done for but saying that it's the end of the video now uh, stay tuned I'll review the uh, the uh, GoPro Hero 7 black uh, in more detail so uh, you know where that subscribe button is and uh, yeah thanks for watching see you guys later